Hello and welcome to Test Taking Strategies General Tips. Success is where preparation and opportunity meet. Before the test, eight tips. Number one, know the test. What types of questions will be asked? How much time will you have to take the test? How will the test be scored? You've got this. We'll be going over what you will see on this test all year long. Oh, and we spent some time talking about what the test would look like. So you should have some confidence when it comes to the structure and the format of the test. Number two, review and study. Pay attention to the areas your teacher spends a lot of time on in class. If we spent two weeks emphasizing a standard area and or subject, then assume it will be on the exam. Number three, study your way. If it helps you, make flashcards, outlines, drawings, etc. that will help you learn and remember the material. Visual aids such as these can help during the test. For example, you might put the definition on the back of the flashcard, the repetition of a word or phrase at the beginning of a sentence or line of poetry, and then see if you can get the answer before flipping it over to reveal the answer. In this case, anaphora. Number four, test yourself. Test yourself on the material. Talk out loud about what you're doing. Give the lecture and teach yourself. If you can talk and write about it, you know it. Figure out your strengths and weaknesses. Knowing what you know can help you focus more productively on what to review more or ask questions about before the test. Number five, don't cram. Avoid cramming. Cramming requires a great deal of energy, contributes to stress and tension, and does not last. Cramming is one of the reasons you may blank out. Do not procrastinate. Don't worry about the amount of material you need to know. That's wasting time. Instead, start studying. Give each topic enough review time and spend the most time on subjects emphasized in class or those that you are less sure about. Number six, take care of your body. Eat a healthy breakfast. Some foods that are recommended to reduce stress include fresh fruits and vegetables. In general, high carbohydrate foods won't sustain you while proteins will. Figure out what's best for you to eat in the mornings. Stay hydrated. It's best to eat healthy and drink a lot of water a couple of days before the test too. Doing so will keep your energy levels stable and help you feel better. Number seven, arrive early. Be on time. Start out early, get a good parking spot, walk relaxed, slow things down, calm yourself. Go potty, stretch, breathe. Number eight, think positively. The strongest factor for success is self-esteem, believing you can do it, believing you deserve it, and believing you'll get it. Get your head in the right place. Everything that you need to know, it's in there. Whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you're usually right. So keep calm and crush it. Close read the passage, read the question, underline key words, study the answer choices, head back to the text, identify possible answers, take it one at a time, and breathe. Next up, what are the strategies you can use during the test? I have eight tips. Number one, read the directions. Read and pay careful attention to all directions. Number two, pace yourself. Don't rush. Always read the whole question and answer choices carefully. Don't make assumptions about what the question might be. Read every possible answer. The best one could be last. Number three, Keep a clean answer sheet. Make sure to record the answer in the correct place on the answer sheet. Only change an answer if you're sure the first one you picked was wrong. Be sure to completely erase changed answers. Number four, try your best. If you don't know an answer, make your best guess. Circle the question in your test booklet. Yes, you can write in there. Go on with the rest of the test and come back to it later. Other parts of the test may have some information that will help you out with that question. Oh. And remember, you promised that you would always, always, always guess and circle a bubble. Never, ever skip a bubble. Make educated guesses. Try to get the correct answer by reasoning and eliminating wrong answers. Don't expect to find patterns in the answer choices. Reread, when necessary, the parts of a passage needed for selecting the correct answer. Number five, focus. Don't worry if others finish before you. Focus on the test in front of you. Read and respond to questions one at a time, rather than thinking about the whole test. Number six, review your test. If you have time left when you are finished, look over your test. Make sure that you have answered all the questions. Number seven, constructed responses. Write legibly. 
If the grader can't read what you wrote, they, they'll most likely mark it wrong. Proofread your written responses for errors in content, spelling, and grammar. Make sure your response is thorough and clear. Remember race, restate, answer, cite, and explain. Number eight, think positively. Pirates are savvy students. Prepare to succeed. Inspect all instructions. Read, remember, and reduce. Answer or abandon questions. Turn back and answer all questions. Eye it again to check for careless mistakes. And most importantly, stay calm. Practice. And if you have questions before the test, make sure that you ask your teacher. Don't just rely on good luck. Success comes to those who earn it.